Hopefully you enjoyed the collection of photos taken by photographer Roger Davis. If you'd like more information on him, you can email the address that you see at the bottom of the screen. We're going to switch out of photography right now and talk fashion. Now, Florida fashionistas, they can't really start thinking about fall fashion until late August. How can you think about layering on more clothes when the temperatures are still above 80? Now, I know we have a couple of weeks away until cooler temperatures, but it is September, so we're going to talk fashion and shoes this morning with our island shoe girl. Stephanie, thanks for being back on the show. Thanks for having me, Jenna. All right, give our viewers some fall fashion tips, Stephanie. Well, for fall, I think the idea is transition. You don't really need a fall wardrobe as much as you need to transition your summer into your winter. So you're really going to want to layer with lightweight items, and as the season progresses, pile on a little bit heavier. You know, you're going to go from shorts, maybe paired with a lightweight sweater or cardigan, to jeans paired with the cardigans, to throwing on that jacket. You know, have a couple great ja jackets. A denim, a brown, and a black coat are great. That covers all your bases, mm -hmm. as far as what's on top. Now, what's on bottom, of course, mm -hmm. is my favorite part, the shoes. Okay. Booties are the way to go. Mm -hmm. The better the booty, you know, you can never have enough. Uh, you know, something to the ankle that works with both skirts and then with long pants. And of course, then you get to transition into the full boots, which is, of course, the most fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, you get, you have a lot of different colors and varieties and designs out there. So you can really splash up an outfit and really kick it up a notch by pairing it with the right booty. Okay. And now, is there a particular color? that's really popular this fall? Well, you know, I think fall is always a great time for great um, browns and tans. I just got a fabulous pair of nude boots that I love, and I just think you can't go wrong with a nude shoe yeah. at all. It's going to make you look taller, thinner, and it's really going to just sex it up a little bit, actually. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> so. like it. I like it. Okay, football season is here. So yes. Tailgating. How do you tailgate and yes. be fashionable? Well, exactly. let me tell you. <laughs> no team has ever because of bad fashion worn by a fan. <laughs> so we got to keep that in mind. Okay. Show your spirit, but show it in a you know, sophisticated manner. Mm -hmm. So embrace the colors, but you know, if you're a Florida Gators fan, maybe orange shorts aren't the way to go. Right, you know, go with the t-shirt <laughs> paired with a classic pair of jeans, mm -hmm. you know, or um, khakis. As far as tailgating and their shoes, go with a wedge. Mm -hmm. A wedge is a really great way to go. It gives you a nice foundation, so if you're walking across different terrain, it gives you more of um, an option for your foot to grab onto something, so you're not hoping that a stiletto catches on to the right. brick, you know, if you're walking across, you know, a cobblestone path or something like that. And, you know, wedges tend to offer more arch support, too. So if you're going to be jumping up and down and cheering, that's a good way to go. I know some girls might wear tennis shoes, but you know I'm not that girl. Right. So I say <laughs> the wedge not. is your friend for football season. Okay, the wedge is your friend. I like that. What about the guys, Stephanie? The guys, um, you know, a good, nice, like Doc Martin um, boot for the colder weather, you know, something low at the ankle. Uh, they can, in the warmer weather, they can still pull off a great, you know, sturdy sandal. I want to wear flip flops to a game, you know, even in the fall because we're transitioning. The, you know, terrain is becoming a little bit rougher when we're walking out. So it's important to protect our feet, most importantly, because foot injury, doesn't matter how cute your shoes are, no one looks good in a black boot. You are very right, <laughs> Stephanie. Now, what about their clothing? I feel like the guys have it so easy, though. They do. The they <laughs> do. I mean, and fall is really a great season for guys because they can just layer. They can take that classic t-shirt and just throw on, you know, a flannel, you know, or a long sleeve shirt. Right over top, they don't even have to button it, you know? And mm -hmm. then on top of that, they just throw a sweater and they're stylish. Mm -hmm. You know, I think one of the biggest traps that guys fall into is that old beaten up hat for everything. <laughs> and, you know, got to make sure we're keeping it matching, you know, or somewhat or at mm -hmm. least cohesive. Right. And, you know, put a little extra effort into that final touch, that final accessory, and it's going to look like you cared, not like you just rolled out of bed. Right. And instead of the baseball cap, they could try a different hat. Like exactly. Like the fedora. Yeah, the fedora. Something, yeah. something like that. Something along those lines, mm -hmm. or even just an updated baseball hat, mm -hmm. one that maybe hasn't been with you since the seventh grade. Mm -hmm. One that says the Yankees on it, too. Oh, okay. yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you're a Yankees yeah, fan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Stephanie, you always give a stiletto and a croc of the week. So do you have a stiletto and a croc? I do for have viewers? a stiletto and a croc. For the stiletto, I'm going to give it to college football season. Mm -hmm. Let's face it. Even as a girl, we love tailgating. We love going to the sports bars and having an excuse to eat chicken wings, you know, and all of that fun stuff. So I'm definitely giving it to college football, even though I'm not a college college football fan. I mm -hmm. certainly am a supporter of the college football fans. Mm -hmm. And for my croc, I'm going to have to say, I'm giving it to all of the political posts on Facebook 
enough already. I really don't care who you're voting for. I care about what you're doing with your day. Did you make pancakes? You know, <laughs> something interesting <laughs> beyond some political rant. Yeah. So that's Those are good. good. It's my crock. Those are good stilettos, and that's a good crock. And for more information on Stephanie, you can check out her website. Stephanie, you always give good blogs. Too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They're great. Theislandshoegirl.com. Thanks for sharing all the tips with our viewers. Thanks for morning. having me, Jenna. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.